Joanne Rowling was born on 31st and July 1965 at Yate General Hospital near Bristol and grew up in Gloucestershire in England and in Chepstow, Gwent in southeast Wales. Father, Peter, was an aircraft engineer at the Rolls-Royce factory in Bristol and her mother, Anne, was a science technician in the chemistry department at Wydean Comprehensive, where Jo herself went to school. Anne was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis when Jo was a teenager and died in 1990 before the Harry Potter books were published. Jo also has a younger sister, Di. The young Jo grew up surrounded by books. I lived for books, she has said, was your basic common or garden bookworm, complete with freckles and national health spectacles. J.K. Rowling Jo wanted to be a writer from an early age. She wrote her first book at the age of six, a story about a rabbit called Rabbit. At just eleven, she wrote her first novel, about seven cursed diamonds and the people who owned them. Born in Yate, Gloucestershire, Rowling was working as a researcher and bilingual secretary for Amnesty International in 1990 when she conceived the idea for the Harry Potter series while on a delayed train from Manchester to London. The seven-year period that followed saw the death of her mother, the birth of her first child, divorce from her first husband, and relative poverty until the first novel in the series, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, was published in 1997. Six sequels followed, and by 2008, Forbes had named her the world's highest-paid author. Rowling concluded the Harry Potter series with Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, 2007. The novels follow a boy called Harry Potter as he attends Hogwarts, a school for wizards, and battles Lord Voldemort. Death and the divide between good and evil are the central themes of the series. Its influences include Bildungsroman, the series revived fantasy as a genre in the children's market, spawned a host of imitators, and inspired an active fandom. Critical reception has been more mixed. Many reviewers see Rowling's writing as conventional. Some regard her portrayal of gender and social division as regressive. There were also religious debates over the 